Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel here at Bobby Pearl Tarot 444. This is going to be a weekend love message for the signs of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Take these messages as they resonate for you guys and your situation, your love life here. Um, this is for separation, whether you have a secret admirer, you're coupled together, or this is new love coming in. Take them as they resonate, leave the rest at the door. Don't force the messages to fit, guys, okay? Now check with your partner's sign. Check with their placements. Check some of your other placements in the chart. Check some of these other videos that I'm going to be uploading too. There may be messages in there for you also. So um, apply what is meant for you. Take that and then leave the rest, guys. So let's get started, Sagittarius, and see what's going on. Now keep in mind, this may not be, there's not going to be for every Sagittarius out there, okay? And this may be a timeless reading. This may not happen this weekend. It may be like next week or the week after, okay? So... Just because it's a weekend read doesn't mean it's going to happen this weekend, all right? It may have already happened. It may be currently happening or it may be happening here in the near future. So let's get started. Sagittarius and see what's going on for my Saggies. Ooh. I heard you're the bomb. All right. You're the bomb.com over here. Sag, you got it going on, don't you? Ooh. All right. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with you. Woo! Actually, they're obsessed with you. Yeah, there may be a, I don't know, this may be same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be, but <laughs> here come the hot step, a word up, I'm the lyrical gangsta, <laughs> wherever that came from. Yeah, okay, so you got the attraction going over here. Somebody's definitely wants they see paradise with you and they want to take you to paradise or um, uh, an unknown location, what I'm hearing, okay? So, whew, where is this unknown, unknown location? Sag, do you have this unknown location or do they have this unknown location? You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment. So you're stopping here and just living in the here and the now uh, very peacefully and just... Uh, you know, enjoying uh, nature. Maybe you like to go on walks. Maybe you might meet this person on a walk. If this is somebody new entering your life, you may meet this person at a beach, okay? Uh, or while on vacation. Or maybe this person wants to go on vacation with you. Someone's starting to understand your connection. Now, this could be somebody from your past. It does not have to be an ex. It could just be somebody that you've known before, okay? You may not have been in a relationship with them. Um, romantically, but you have a two-faced friend around you, so there may be some jealousy around this connection, guys, okay? I don't know if this is your person or if this is somebody else involved in your circle here, like a third party, okay? And you know, maybe they're jealous because this of this attraction to you, or they're jealous of the fact that this person has these sexual feelings towards you, all right, uh, and that they're obsessed with you. Something backfired here, Somebody's holding you in high honor, guys, okay? Like I said, you're the bomb.com over here. So whatever you've done to this person, Sagittarius, or whatever they've done to you, I mean, they may be in the military. They have, may have some type of military background over here. You've opened this person's heart chakra, okay? They've, uh, like, something has snapped within them. There's like, oh, the light switch is on. Like, you've got them. I didn't mean to turn this person on, but you turned this person on. And somebody's upset about that. It could be a friend that's upset. Maybe another friend is interested in you. This could be of the same sex. I don't know, guys. It's You place it where it fits. Reverse the roles, okay? But somebody's, uh, you know, obsessively thinking they got to let that go here. Now, if you're obsessed about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. So it's saying just let it go. Someone also feels like you're like a forbidden fruit or they may have bit into a forbidden fruit. All right, doing um, so will help you bring clarity or even solve a problem. I feel like there's a lot of smoke and mirrors around this connection, or there has been a lot of smoke and mirrors around this connection, a lot of clouded judgment and, you know, like unclear thinking, right? Okay, it's like a, a somebody feels that wheels on the bus go round and round over here. So someone going, someone's like, it feels like they're going round and round in circles or someone trying to keep someone around and round in circles because of a two-faced friend that's involved. Whether this is somebody romantic or not, you know, a friend that is a lover, 
or uh, or one or both? Do you take it as it resonates? But somebody wants to, you know, get together and enjoy each other's company. They want some alone time. They just want, it's just you and me. That's all I want is just to be with you and me. Okay, now, there's a lot of temptation around here, guys. So just be aware. This is somebody, Sag, that could either tempt you, want to tempt you, or you're tempted by. All right? Trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So this person wants you to trust them also. Okay, maybe there was not trust in the past. There could have been a two-faced friend that broke trust between you and this person. All right, because of the attraction, because of this magnetic attraction, because there is some type of soulmate connection here. Okay, and this person may have not understood the connection before because of illusions okay or because someone got involved in your connection and put up some type of smoke and mirrors here you know this could also be like a word spoken against you you spoke words against someone okay if someone spoke words against you or this two-faced friend got involved and spoke words against your connection here you know like i said jealousy right so it's asking you to trust here and accept things as they are. But somebody is definitely overthinking a situation. And they've got their eyes like laser focused. This is knowledge. Somebody needs to gain, gain this knowledge here. Or somebody has gained this knowledge, you know, after a period of time. But they're watching you. Somebody's watching you. Their eyes are on you. All eyes on you or something. All right. It's like you don't even see this, Sag. But somebody else is like watching you from afar. There's like a glow around you. You like a, like have this golden aura around you. That co the color peach, like orange, like a, a a pink and an orange that that could somebody could have those type of roses around their home or in a garden here. Uh, tulips, tulips. Could be said, this person could like the, your lips, the way your lips taste, okay? Especially if you've kissed this person before. Something about your kiss. Your kiss is on my list. Somebody just wants to kiss you, okay? It's like they've got like a checklist and you're like you check off all the boxes for this person. But they've got somebody else around them that just like don't like you. They just don't. Or you don't like them or I don't know. They got cat scratch fever over here. My cat was in the window just in the last read too. So um, who's read by that? I'm doing Leo. So maybe you have Leo in their chart or this person has Leo in their chart. Like she was like clawing at my screen. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, so this person's got like cat scratch fever over here. Like she's like barking or like meowing back. Like, you know, someone very... Uh, a complainer that's what you got complains and nitpicks about every little thing it's like somebody doesn't want you to have something because they don't have it that type of energy all right take me down to a paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty so the grass is green over here where you're at and the grass wasn't green where you were at before or where this person's at all right, that's what I got, Sag. All right, we got sexuality. Existing relationship could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Here we go. So whether you are in an existing relationship or not, there's new passion and heightened attraction. You got double attraction over here. Opportunities for marriage and good family uh, life are strong. All right, so there's possibility for marriage here on the table. Because someone holds you in high honor. Yes, but somebody does, uh, they want to bring this connection together here, okay? Uh, good family life are strong, but if single, be aware of temptation. Didn't I say temptation? That could lead to trouble. So just be aware that some this two-faced friend, friend might be wanting to tempt you into, uh, because they're attracted to you. Like I said, there's jealousy over here. You like somebody, someone doesn't like that. Why? Because they like somebody too, or they like you too. Two people like one person, and they're jealous. Okay. Uh, a child will also bring great joy. Somebody wants to have a child with you, or you may have a child with this person, or there's a child here involved. 
Somebody could have had a child with a two-faced friend. And that's the person that's jealous. It can be different things, guys, okay? Uh, you're always on this person's mind. I can't stop thinking about you. Like I said, it's forbidden. I mean, maybe you're not into same sex. You know, you are, are straight. I don't know what it is for you guys, but there's obviously some attraction from different sexes here. Okay. All right. So we have, uh, I don't own any rights to these guys. This is just for extra information for you. Um, how you, you feel about your person, how your person's feeling about you, Sag, and in song. Okay. So a channeled song um, lyric for you. And also a channeled romantic movie quote um, for you also, how they're feeling about you. If you've watched this movie uh, or watched it together with your person or there are scenes in the movie that will relate to your connection, okay? So we have the perks of being a wallflower, okay? Flowers on the wall. Flowers in the attic, I'm hearing that too. So whatever that movie means, okay, this could be having somebody locked up, locked up in their head, locked up in their mind, uh, that smoke and mirrors, everything clouded, you know, these illusions, this, uh, you know, not knowing which way to go, you know, falling into temptation. It could be different for all of you. But the perks of being a wallflower, the difference between a good love and a great love is we accept the love we think we deserve. So maybe this person thinks that, you know, you thought that you didn't deserve this person or they thought that they didn't deserve you. Or this cat, this two-faced friend over here tried to make it out to where you didn't deserve this love because they were jealous and they wanted this love because they didn't have this love. So you take it where it resonates, guys, okay? And then we have uh, Fallen by Alicia Keys as a song. I've never felt this way. How do you give me so much pleasure and cause me so much pain? So this person feels like, you know, this was a painful experience, a painful connection here. Um, whether it is with the two-faced friend involved or, or not, you make this person happy. You please them, you know, in ways that they have never felt before. But it's also very painful, you know, the way things have, uh, you know, all panned out here. Just when I think I would have taken more than what a fool, okay, so this person feels like they either got taken for a fool or they've been very foolish or they were played for a fool, right? Uh, they start falling back in love with you. So this person, like, it's like a back and forth. They're in love with you. They're out of love with you. They're in love with you. They're out of love with you. So, I mean, they may not completely fall out of love, guys, okay? But it's like a back and forth. It's like a wishy-washy type of love, Sag, that you're dealing with here. So um, this person could also feel like, you know, they, they keep falling deeper in love with you. It could have a different scenario out here. Person could be into BDSM too. I have to give that message because of pleasure and pain. You know, they may like that. They may like like the rough kind. Maybe you're not into that type. Maybe they like um, adding more people into the relationship, you know, two, uh, three and four people, you know, like. Maybe two guys and a girl. Maybe two girls and a guy. I, I don't know. Um, take it as it resonates. But this person falls back in love with you. It's like they don't know. They're confused about their sexuality. You got possibly a, a man that's in love with you. And a woman that's in love with you. Or you got two women that are in love with you, or you got two men that are in love with you. I don't know. <sighs> this is so confusing, guys. But one of them is obsessed completely with you. And it's like, they want to have you. But the other one wants to have you too. So they want to incorporate, like, uh, like polygamy. That's what this person's into. Whether you are okay with that, Sag, that's your preference. That's going to be at your discretion or at this person's, depending on which side of this you're on. But that's what I got, Sag. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Now, if there's been any kind of type of, uh, you know, karmic lesson to be learned here in this situation, uh, karmic law that you got, Sag, was number four. So, uh, and that's growth here. The law of growth. 
Real growth and real change or personal growth begins with what you have control over, which the only thing that you have control over, Sag, is yourself, not other people. Now, this could have been somebody that wanted to have control over you, right? How to deal with and accept what you cannot control and this fate. So it was something fated to happen here. Or this person chose their fate. You take it as it resonates for you. But you cannot control another person. If this person wanted you to be a part of a polygamy situation and you didn't want to be a part of that, that's your choice. But this person's obsessed with you being a part of it. Okay, the focus should be on yourself and not on other people or things around you. And this person is definitely I focused on you, Sag, or your eye focused on them, or this uh, two-faced friend over here is I focused on you. They can't do anything else but look at you, the forbidden apple, the thing that they can't have. I'll be there for you. These five words, I swear to you. I heard that in somebody else's reading. Somebody's saying that they'll be there for you, but are they going to be there for others? I don't know. I don't know, Sag. It's up to you, JJ. Somebody's name could be JJ. Okay, we've got square. It's hip to be square. Justice or Justine, um, June, Junie, Jan, Jazz, Jasmine, um, RJ, something with August, uh, definitely Leo energy over here. So somebody can be a Leo or have that in their chart. I said that earlier. Um, Sarah S Santana, okay. Somebody could drive a Jaguar. Tasha. TJ or JT. Somebody could definitely be an RJ or a JR or a JJ. Um, under the bridge, something. Somebody wants to put something like water under the bridge over here. Like uh, red hot. Some of those red hot chili peppers. Uh, somebody could be eating a lot of peppers here. Maybe you have like peppers. You have a pepper garden, or you did have peppers in your garden. I don't know if they're still in season or not, or you've already picked those or jalapenos like maybe just that you're hot you're attractive here um trina tristan ashley there's the color blue over here um Uh, torpedoes, something these torpedoes, like launching, something with a launch. I don't know what that is, launch. Like to shoot forward to launch. Let me see what the, an extra meaning here's for, for launch. To launch, what does it mean? My phone's slow. Give me a second, guys. To launch, what does it mean? Doesn't want to let me look it up. I think it's like to shoot forward. 
Let me try and type it out. Sorry, guys. To set in motion to push it by pushing it or allowing it to roll in the water. That could be like them rolling wheels. Somebody could be pushing their vehicle. Something wrong with their vehicle. Launching some type of campaign or something. What? Throw forward, yeah. Arrow at a target. Like, this is like they've got, like, they've targeted you. You're a targeted individual because of this attraction. Because these um, barrels are pointed right towards this girl that's forbidden. Like, <sighs> astral, so astral projection. Somebody could be trying to do that. Uh, James. Jasper. Jalen. Trevor. Olin. Asa. with the long neck I'm looking like I'm seeing like ostriches for some reason like I don't what is the symbolism for ostriches I gotta hurry up and get this reading done uh, what does the spiritual meaning of ostriches I don't know why my phone is slow guys it's just uh. What is the spiritual meaning of ostriches? I may not even get it to load up here. I gotta type it in. Uh. Truth and purity. Truth and justice. So justice or bringing down judgment on others is for judgment. So that's what that means. The totem ostrich is judgment on others. So this person could have tried to bring down judgment on you or you're trying to bring judgment on or there's judgment to this situation or somebody's being judged over the situation. So you take them as they resonate, Sag, and leave the rest, okay? We got T-R-Z-O-A-S-Z. -Z. There's two Zs in here. Um, J. Two Js, okay? A Q and a U. First, middle, last, initial, you, your person, or anybody involved here in this situation, okay? That's what I have for you, Sag. Hopefully you got what you needed out of it, the information, the clarity, and... I appreciate your love and support for my channel. Thank you guys so much for all that you do and who that you are. I thank you for everything. And I hope you have a, a, a good weekend here. And good luck and love and in this connection. And, you know, just always trust yourself. Trust your own instu intuition. In some of the institution. Something with the institution here. Institutional. Trust yourself and your decision making, okay? Have a good day or a good weekend, Sagittarius. Take care. Bye.